When it comes to fighting through your jump shot struggles and becoming a reliable and consistent shooter on NBA 2K25, your jump shot base is one of the founding cornerstones. Even as basic and easy as that sounds, even I struggle to find a base for me. But once I did, just look at how good I'm shooting on all my bills. And don't worry, because after this video, you're gonna be shooting the same way as I'm going to give you guys the best bases for small guards, tall guards, and you know I could forget about my big guys in the trenches, as I'm also gonna give you guys the best shooting bases for big men. And you're also gonna wanna watch this video all the way through, as I'm also gonna give you guys just a couple jump shots just to get you started on your jump shot journey so all i need from you guys watching this video is to hit that like button and get ready to burn up yes man it really is me who me so Mizzle. aka the instant burner man and youtube I got a very important video for you guys today. I'm gonna What's be that? giving you guys some of the best shooting bases on NBA 2K25. Like I said in that intro, you wanna have good bases because that is pretty much the cornerstone for you being able to green on a game with a tight, tight green window. And like I said, I'm, not, I'm gonna show love to every single one of you of the bills in this game. Tall guards, small guards, big men. We're gonna discuss it all. That was one of them things coming into 2K25 that I wanted to focus on. I wanted to make sure I had a bill for every single one of you guys, just in case. You know what I'm saying? Cause we all don't play the same position. So also in the comment section, you guys let me know how tall is the player that you're watching this video for. But what we're gonna do first, we're gonna start off, also gonna give you guys, like I said, some jump shots, just in case you skip through the video. We're gonna give you guys some jump shots too, so you wanna look at the whole video through. Um, what we're gonna start with first, since they don't get that much love, we're gonna start with the big man. This is my 16 big man right here. Um, so first of all, we're gonna go ahead and just go ahead and start in here. Um, let me go in here again, man. It'd be great to appreciate if you guys could hit that light button. So let's go ahead and give you guys a jump shot first. What we're gonna do, this is the jump shot right here. PJ Tucker, Balumba, first release. You wanna go all the way to the bottom of releases to find Balumba, uh, which is Mike Wayne. Shout out to Mike Wayne. Uh, and second release is gonna be Bam Anabayo. What you wanna do, you wanna make sure to push it all the way to release. And when it comes to release speed, this depends on what you shoot with. If you just shoot with square or X on Xbox, just put this on three out of four. Put it on three out of four right here. But if you're somebody like me that's practicing the stick, it's just a little bit too fast if you want to keep it right here. So you got to put it on two out of four. You know what I'm saying? If you want to catch up to the release. Because if you don't, you're going to get a lot of those. You're going to mess up on the tempo. It's going to be a lot of those slightly fastest. So you don't want to mess it up because you are a big man. You don't want to be one of them guys selling in the corner. I never so sell. If you are using the right stick, two out of four. Not using the right stick three out of four or you can go four out of four but if you go four out of four the jump shot is way too fast this is a very 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 fast jump shot bro so hey y'all let me know how it works out for you but that is the first base pj tucker man you can't go wrong with pj tucker and a lot of things with me with these jump shots i wanted jump shots that were smooth as you see in the clips right here these jump shots are smooth a lot of jump shots on nba 2k25 are kind of weird uh, by weird i mean they like they got like a hiccup in them. Like you don't just fluently go up and shoot. It's like a, you get what I'm saying? If you play 2K25. So my whole goal with every jump shot I'm gonna be giving you guys today is everything is smooth and pretty much fluent. You know what I'm saying? So you can pretty much find out where your jump shot cue is. You know what I'm saying? So that's the first base. Uh, the second base that I'm gonna give you guys for big men, you probably never even heard of before. And it's going to be uh, Gallinari. Gallinari is a good one, smooth as you see right here. I will tell you guys this: uh, when it comes to when it comes to Gallinari, is this is not one of those right stick type of shots, bro. This is pretty much a square button type of shot, bro. I've tried it with the stick as you see right here, bro. It just it just didn't feel right with the stick. So if you're a button presser, definitely check out this base. You see, it's pretty smooth, even though this jump shot looks kind of weird because it's default big. Um, but it is a very, very smooth base. All right, you two, I want to show you guys this gameplay because I want to show y'all how important it is to be able to shoot pretty much on this game, especially on the twos, as he ends up hitting that BS right there. I'm playing a post score. You know how when you play a post score, the stops are going to be limited, even when you have all the defense in the world, which I have. 
on this build right here. So a lot of people, they have seven footers. I think this guy is seven one. So a lot of those guys, they can't move. So right there, he leaves me open and we end up burning him up in the corner. But since him being 7-1, a lot of these guys, they play on the twos, they just leave you open, bro. They leave you open and just wait for you to miss. And when you miss, they go ahead and back toot that ass up and back <laughs> you down, bro. So it's very important to be able to be pretty much consistent on your jump shot on this game, especially in those corners, man, you're gonna be seeing. In this gameplay, I was pretty much practicing the right stick. I was practicing the right stick. As you're going to also see in the corner, this is not flogging. I'm shooting like 60% on this build with no hot spots. And what's crazy about this is I'm playing on West servers. I am an East Coast player. So I'm also delayed on top of all that, bro. And I'm able to shoot consistent. And what this base is, it is Jonathan Isaac. It is Jonathan Isaac base. Uh, one of my favorite bases if you're one of them type of people that are using the right stick. See right there, he's just pretty much, see, he's just daring me to shoot, daring me to shoot. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to the corner. And again, two feet in the paint, bro. He's gonna dare me to shoot and dare me to pretty much sell the game. And again, right there, we go ahead and burn his face off. So if you want the type of people and you're playing in games like this, you got to be able to shoot the ball. Like, if I wasn't able to shoot the ball, it's crazy to sound, we would probably lose this game, bro. I don't think I would probably get enough stops with how overpowers. Again, we go ahead and burn them up. When you hear that all screaming, what is it? you know I'm greening. Yeah. But like I was saying, you just wouldn't be able to get enough stops on post scores, them being as overpowered as they are in this game and you bricking in those corners. Again, he's trying my luck right here. I did end up missing this one. I don't know how I missed that. I ain't gonna lie, it felt kind of green. But that's one shot. That's one shot. We can live with that again. There he goes backing me down. And I was able to be very get pretty lucky on this one as I get another stop. He got his own board. I don't know how he got that. And we end up getting just another stop. So we're getting more stops than you would usually even get on a post score. So I just got to hit my shots. He's going to dare me to shoot pretty much the whole game. He's not going to come out there. I guess he hasn't seen in the bottom right of the screen that I'm really chicken out here. So again, two feet in the paint. I got to just knock down my shot. How many guys are out here going to go out here and just knock down four to five threes out that corner? A lot of guys at this point in the game, they're just not going to do it, bro. Especially if you're one of those type of square type of players. Um, you're just not gonna knock that down. You might knock it down for maybe a game, maybe a game or two, but you have, having those pressure shots every game against the post score could really, you know what I'm saying, could really put you in a bad moment and, and cause your team to take a lot of L's again. He's sitting in the paint. I don't have any hot zones right there. I the shoot court. it anyway, doesn't matter, and I burn it up. Get again, out. this is Jonathan Isaac Bass. Definitely try it out. And hey, you guys are also gonna wanna subscribe, bro, because I'm also gonna give y'all this jump shot with other jump shots soon. So you wanna make sure to not miss out on that. Now let's move on to the tall guards. If you made it this far in the video, comment tall guards in the comment section. I really, really appreciate you guys. Uh, but let me go ahead and give y'all first things. First, I'm gonna give y'all more jump shots. Like I said, man, I'm trying to help you guys all year long, man. So you're gonna wanna tap in with the burner. Um, I made a lot of jump shots on this build. My favorite ones. You know, I was gonna give y'all one jump shot. So I'm in a good mood. I'm gonna give y'all two. <clears throat> These are all good jump shots. This is the first one right here. One of a, a great base, a smooth base that a lot of people aren't talking about is Michael Porter Jr. As you see right here. First release is gonna be Oscar Robinson 70%. Ray Allen is gonna be the second release. You're gonna need a 93 ball to get this. Uh, I know some of you guys might not be able to get that. So I'm gonna show you some more options. But you want to keep it around push. Very, very fast jump shot, smooth jump shot. Let me show you, show you another one with this chicken. Um, that I that I love, um, and it is ch chicken too. Pretty much the same jump shot, but it's Max Truce with the base. I already told y'all about, about Max Truce, one of the smoothest jump shots, one of my favorite jump shots when it comes to six five and up, man. It's a straight up and down with the jump shot. So you want to tap in with this one also again 70 30 with the release. You can go four four speed, or you can really go three four speeds on these jumpers. Um, because jumpers are very, very fast on this game, so you can do that. One. Other great releases for tall bills is Ray Allen, Mr. Jesus Shuttlesworth. Very, very smooth. Another one that I like is Will Barton. 
also smooth if you guys want me to make jump shots for these videos put jump shot also in the comment section but will barton is also you see how it is up and down very very smooth jump shot don't want to sleep on will barton another good one that a lot of people don't talk about is sadiq bay it's kind of on the slower side but it's also very very smooth for you guys and another one is it's not as smooth as the as the other jumpers that i've been giving you guys but you get high ratings it's very very consistent and it is Kobe Bryant. Y'all seen it earlier. I had a shot that said Kobe in it because I've been testing the Kobe. Kobe is another good one. Like I said, it's not as smooth, but it is a very, very good base on this game. No, I said, why, why I put Kobe Brown? I'm sorry. Kobe Bryant. <laughs> not Kobe Brown. Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant is another good one. And also another good one is Troy Brown Jr. You can also try that one. And if you guys are stuck in 2K24, you know you can go with the Jared Culliver. This is all we have right now. This is pretty much um the tracy mcgrady of 2k24 so if you love the tracy mcgrady just put on jared culliver not one of my best my favorite bases on this game but it is still consistent you see a lot of the poppers the six nine poppers they're still using jared culliver so it is still good it still is a good base so you can definitely try that one out and my favorite base i know a lot of people aren't talking about this base my favorite base for six, five and up bills. I probably should have kept this to myself, bro, but I'm gonna go ahead and put y'all on, bro, because a lot of y'all probably skipped through the video. <laughs> so a lot of people aren't even gonna know what I'm talking about. Um, is Scotty Pippen. Scotty Pippen is a great one. Um, smooth, that's not my favorite though. I, I forgot about Scotty. So Scotty Pippen is also a good one, but my favorite, my favorite jump shot base for taller bills, bro, is, where is it at? Come on. This is the suit right here. This right here is the suit. The best jump shot base for taller bills, in my opinion. Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan, bro. You, you, heard, you heard it here first. One of the best one. Then again, just in case you guys were skipping through the video, Max Schroes, also one of my one of my favorites. Also in this game. Very, very smooth right there. And just like with the big man builds, you can also use PJ Tucker. I, I, I just showed y'all pj tucker earlier so you can also use that one also on the 6-6 build <music> lastly we're going to go ahead and get into the small guards right here it's pretty much only two bases you should be using bro you should be using the Kyrie irvin which is this is a Kyrie irvin shot right here balloon but y'all sleep on balloon release i'm telling y'all balloon release is where it's at balloon release Kyrie irvin um 85 15 you need a 91 three ball to use this to use this base if you wanted to um you could knock this down one and still be super super fast um however you want to do it but that's one that's one of the bases so Kyrie Irving for the first base. If you're not using Kyrie Irving at this point, it's pretty much only one base you should be using, and that is Cameron Thomas. Cam Thomas, and this is the other jump shot. Balloomba, 85%, 15, can't, I can't talk. Kent Bazemore, and this jump shot is lightning fast, bro. I would suggest for you guys to put it down one hell or even two. You see the release speed? It's not changing. You know what I'm saying? It's not changing, brothers. Just depends on how fast you want it to be. This jump shot right here is very, 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 very versatile you know what i'm saying just tweak it the way you like it but those are the two jump shots releases for small guards all that so that's it for today i know this was kind of long video but i wanted to be in depth and help you guys out like i always try to do with the jump shot because i'm not the burner for nothing again it'd be greatly appreciated i took a lot of time on this video if you guys could smash that like button let's see if we can get the 200 likes on the video and also subscribe if you're new and if you want more jump shot type of videos from the burner and y'all already know who it is burn up